What's up to the Mo Gang? It is your girl Sneaker Mo, and I am back with another banger. Yes, that's right. But before we get into today's video, y'all already know what to do. If y'all don't, let me go ahead and give y'all the instructions. Y'all hit that subscribe button to join the gang. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post. Let's go ahead and get this video to 10 likes. Y'all don't ask for too much. Let's go ahead and hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yes. Today's video, I will be giving y'all tips on starting a sneaker collection. Y'all hear that applause? Yes. Tips on starting your own sneaker collection. Now, I thought of this because I wish somebody would have gave me the advice that I'm about to give y'all when I started my sneaker collection because I made a lot of oops and a lot of whoa and I made a lot of mistakes and I dibbled and dabbled and things I had no business doing. So I decided to give y'all this video. I'm going to be using my iPhone, you guys, to give y'all the tips because I've written them down. I don't want to be all over the place. The first tip on starting your own sneaker collection is buy what you like. I cannot stress that enough. Buy what you like. I don't care if it's a shoe that didn't sell, if it sat on shelves, if you think it's whatever that people has to say about it, you buy the shoe that you like and you only because at the end of the day, only you have to wear that shoe. Or even if you don't wear it and you like me and you just want them in a collection, I have them in a the collection, that still is something that you have to look at, something you have to spend your hard earned money on. So buy what you like, okay? That's tip number one. Tip number two is, I would say, get some OG colorways, okay? It's nothing like a sneakerhead that has no OG colorways in their collection. Now, having OG colorways in your collection doesn't necessarily mean that you're a sneakerhead, but it just means you you, you know a little some some. You know, so I say go ahead and get a couple of OG colorways. It ain't got to be, you know, every OG for each number, but at least one or two have them in your collection. Okay, number three, I would say is be patient. Okay, be patient. Don't be trying to purchase a shoe right then and there. If you really don't got it suspended and you're trying to figure out how you got to pay this and pay that. Just be patient. Most of the time, shoes will always come back around. Rather, if it's retro again or if you got to buy from the GOAT or StockX for a little bit more, it will always be there. Be patient. That's a great tip. I'm telling myself that as I'm telling y'all, be patient, okay? That's tip number three. Tip number four is stay consistent, okay? Stay. Don't start, stop, start, stop. It's, you're going to lose motivation after a while. Just go ahead and continue to do it. It doesn't mean you got to buy shoes every single day because nobody got that type of money unless you're Oprah or somebody. And at that point, I don't even think she's doing that, right? But what I mean by stay consistent is just be on top of it. You know, purchase a shoe every now and again or every month or whatever that your paycheck allows you, do it. Don't give up. It will get to where you want it to be. You're not going to wake up the next day and have 300 shoes when the day before you only had one okay it takes time but be consistent and you'll get to where you need to be okay tip number five i would say is get the shoes you always wanted as a kid but you wasn't able to get it for whatever reason cop that shoe because that shoe brings value in your collection it, it brings a sentimental value you know it, it means something to you so if you couldn't get the you know Bread fours when you were little, you always wanted them. Now you have the opportunity to get them. Get them. I'm telling you, it's gonna do something to your collection. It's it's not just like you have shoes in here that you collect. It's like no, I could tell a story about each shoe. You want that, right? Tip number six is know the shoe history. Okay, it's nothing like a sneaker head, right? That don't really know the shoe that they have. They're like, oh yeah, I got these in my collection. Okay, but what are they? What's the name? Not the number. What's the name of the shoe? Is it has it came out before? Does it retro often? You know, things of that nature. Know the history of your shoe because knowing the history of the sh of your shoe takes it along. It, it it really matters. Okay, it matters. I'm not sitting and say study each shoe because I ain't done that. Okay, but I know if I want a shoe. I'm going to know a little bit about it before I purchase it, okay? Tip number, what, seven? Seven? 
<laughs> I think tip number um, seven is start up, um, get a starting base price. Okay. Now, what I mean mean by that is get a price that you're gonna stick with, and and stick with it. Okay. So if you wanna buy shoes monthly on a monthly basis, or if you wanna buy every two weeks, whatever, have you buy your shoes, get a base price and stick to it. So you don't go over your budget or you don't go under your budget and you don't be having to try to figure out what's this and what's that. Have a base price. You know, if you say, hey, for the month of, you know, August, I'm only going to spend 300 on shoes. You get that price, you keep that price. Don't go over it because then you're going to probably affect the shoes that you want to get in the following month. You know, so always have that base pay so it can just keep you control and help you to get whatever release that you need out of that month. Okay, tip number eight or whatever number we own. This is a, uh, another tip is don't overpay for a shoe that's not limited. Okay, now I say this and I'm saying this to myself because I've been the fool. Okay, I've been it. I, I have no problem saying it. I've been a hype beast. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to get it. And I done paid over retail for a shoe that was not limited that's the worst thing you can do to me now other sneakerheads might beg the differ but for me sneaker mo the mo gang i'm telling y'all don't overpay for a shoe that's not limited okay now the reason why i say that is because if the shoe is not limited that means you can get them anywhere okay anywhere okay even if you you only see it on one website place a bid on it place a bid on it for maybe $50 over retail or something like that. Something reasonable. You'll get it. Okay, but don't don't pay three or two hundred dollars over retail for a shoe that was that wasn't limited. That you know they made multiple pairs. That's just not a great that's not a great decision, you guys. I'm sorry. But this was the starting your sneaker collection tips. I lost count <laughs> somewhere in between. I'm sorry. But hopefully. It helps you guys. It helps y'all to start your collection. Or if you already got a collection and you feel like there's some things that you're lacking that you need to know, I feel like I gave y'all that information, that stuff that you need, you know, that you can feed off of. I really wish somebody would have told me that. I do because I've made some mistakes, y'all. I done purchased some shoes that I just, why did I purchase? I done lost about $600 worth of shoes that I had to resell for not even what I paid for them because I'm just buying stuff thinking, the more shoes I have, the more that makes me a sneakerhead. But when I realized it doesn't because I looked at my collection and it had no good price value, you know, so I had to start all over. So now I've only got about 45 pairs of shoes when I started off with a hundred and something, literally. But I had to start over because it I was doing more, but my it, it wasn't meaning nothing. Okay. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all already know what to do because I explained it, but I'm going to tell y'all again. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post. Let's get this video to 10 thumbs up. Y'all already know how we go, and I'll see y'all in the next video.